food quality and safety management systems. The present document aims to assist all players in the food chain to better understand FSMS. Implementation Food safety means assurance that food is acceptable for human consumption according to its intended use. Food safety audit means a systematic and functionally independent examination of food safety measures adopted by manufacturing units to determine whether such measures in Related results meet with objectives of food safety and the claims made in that the half food safety management system FSMS means the adoption good manufacturing practices good hygienic practices hazard analysis and critical control point and such other practices as may be specified by reg regulation for the food business food business operator in relation to food business means a person by whom the business is carried on or owned and is responsible for ensuring the compliance of the act, rules and regulations made there under food safety certifications. Internationally there are many food safety certifications which meets these requirements. These are HACCP ISO 22000, FSSC 22000 and many more. These are voluntary certifications to strengthen the food safety system, however, under regulation defined by the FSS Act 2006 Food Safety Management System, FSMS means the adoption good manufacturing practices, good hygienic practices, hazard analysis and critical control point and such other practices as may be specified by regulation for the food business. Standard ISO 22003 the International Standard ISO 22003 defines food safety management system FSMS, as the set of interrelated or interacting elements to establish policy and objectives and to achieve those objectives, used to direct and control an organization with regard to food safety. The key elements of any FSMS are good practices PRPs hazard analysis HACCP management and element. System statutory and regulatory requirements communication. Food safety management system. The food safety management system is a continual process and every FBO, food business operator, should aim for improvement and take higher food safety objectives for consumer safety. Area, location and layout. The factory is ideally located away from industries which are emitting harmful gases, obnoxious odor, chemical etc. The nature of ceiling roof is of permanent notori, iron sheet, asbestos sheet, RCC. The floor of building is cemented, tiled or laid in stone, pack a floor. The production area walls are smooth, made with impervious material up to a height of not less than 5 feet and the junction between the walls and floors are curved. The premises of the factory is adequately lighted and ventilated properly whitewashed or painted. Area. Provision for disposal of refuse and effluents is available. The food production, food service area provided with adequate drainage facility. In case cooking is done on open fire, proper outlets for smoke, steam etc. like chimney, exhaust, fan etc. are installed and the fans installed at a suitable height. Doors, windows and other openings are fitted with net or screen to prevent insects etc. Antiseptic disinfectant foot bath is provided at the entrance. Area. Sufficient number of latrine and urinals for worker are provided and located outside the processing hall. All the machinery is installed in such a manner which may allow continuous flow of production and do not occupy more than 50% of the total production and permits hygienic production and easy 
movement, equipment and fixtures. Equipments kept clean, washed, dried and free from molds and fungi. No such container, vessel, equipments in use likely to cause metallic contamination. The table tops used for food preparation are mod of close joint and impervious material. The equipments are made of stainless steel, galvanized iron, non-corrosive materials. Appropriate facilities for the cleaning and disinfecting of equipments and instruments and preferably cleaning in place CIP system are adopted wherever necessary. Storage systems. Appropriate arrangement for storage of food and food ingredients provided inadequately. Segregated and labeled. Systems to adequately maintain time temperature control at the time of storage. Raw material food additives and ingredients, wherever applicable or conforming to regulations. Laid down under the Act. Containers used for storage are made of non-toxic material. Cold storage facility, wherever necessary, provided. Personal hygiene, suitable aprons, head cover, disposable gloves and footwear are provided. Adequate facilities for toilets, hand wash and foot bath with provision for detergent, bactericidal. Soap, hand drying facility and nail cutter are provided. No person suffering from any infection or contagious disease. Arrangements are made to get the staff medically examined once in six months to ensure that they are free from infectious contagious and other diseases. The staff working in such factory are inoculated against the enteric group of disease and vaccinated. No employee of such factory who is suffering from a hand or face injury, skin infection or clinically recognizable eye and infectious disease. Water supply. Adequate supply of potable water. Appropriate facilities for safe and clean storage of water. The water is examined chemically and bacteriologically by an ABL accredited laboratory. Ice and steam wherever in use during processing is made from potable water. Identifying marks have been applied to the pipelines for easy identification of potable and non-potable water. Pest control system. Treatment with permissible chemical, physical or biological agents within the permissible limits are carried out. Adequate control measures are in place to prevent insect and rodents from the processing area. Conveyance and transportation. Conveyance and transportation of food being done in an appropriate state of cleanliness. Particularly if the same vehicle has been used to carry non-food items. The conveyance and transportation are provided with temperature control system. Cleaning and maintenance. Cleaning and sanitation program is drawn up, observed and the record of the same is properly maintained. Food preparation areas are cleaned at regular intervals with water and detergent and with the use of a disinfectant. Operational features. The source and standards of raw material used are of optimum quality and as per regulation and Standards laid down under the Act. Test report from owner NABL accredited FSSAI notified labs regarding microbiological contaminants in food items are available. Arrangements for monitoring temperature and relative humidity. Documentation and records. Records of daily production. Raw material utilized in sales are available. A periodic audit of the whole system according to the standard operating procedure conducted regarding good manufacturing practices, good hygienic practices, appropriate records of food processing, preparation, food quality, laboratory test results, pest control, etc. for a period of one year or the shelf life of the product, whichever. Records of sale and purchase that the food product sold to registered, licensed vendor and raw. Material purchased from registered licensed supplier. Product information and consumer awareness. All packaged food products carrying label and requisite information as per regulations are made. Training. Food production personnel and production floor managers, supervisors underwent appropriate food. Hygiene training. Equipment cleaning. Keep the washing machinery, sinks, and storage equipment clean, so that they will function properly and will not contaminate sanitized dishes, utensils, pots, and pans. Clean the machine. 
strainers and the wash nozzles every shift. Clean rinse nozzles every day or as prescribed by the manufacturer. Keep soap and sanitizer supply systems filled. Change wash water at least every three hours during use. Delime the machine when necessary. The procedure for Cleaning equipment and utensils is essentially the same as for food contact surfaces. 1. Wash in hot water with detergent. 2. Rinse with clean, warm water. 3. Sanitize in warm water. 4. Air dry. Equipment operation. Equipment shall be operated so that the food produced will meet FSSAI. Recommendations Refrigerators meet fish poultry and LT 41F produce and LT 41F dairy is less than or equal to 41F. Freezer 0F Gaskets All gaskets on containers, refrigerators, and freezers shall be cleaned and maintained. They will be replaced when damaged. Cooling and refrigeration units Refrigeration or cooling units shall have non-toxic corrosion-resistant racks with no restriction for bottom heat removal, e.g. food sitting on a solid shelf. Reach and refrigerators shall not be used to cool more than 5 kgs of hot food above 120 degrees Fahrenheit per full door section per hour, unless specifically designed for food cooling. Refrigerators FSMS program and food display units when tested empty in operation must be capable of holding a temperature of 38 degrees Fahrenheit or less over a four-hour period with a door never opened compressor on no more than 70% of the time. Airflow will be more than 50 feet per minute across the bottom of containers in the cooling area. Refrigeration compressors shall be kept free of dirt. Freezers. All freezing and refrigeration units shall be self-defrosting. Freezers shall operate at 0 degrees Fahrenheit minus 17.8 degrees Celsius when tested empty. Door never opened in the kitchen over a 4-hour period. The compressor is allowed to be on 80% of the time. Storage racks, shelving, pallets, etc. These items shall be made of easy-to-clean materials and shall be designed to store food. 6 inches off of the floor. Washing equipment. The manufacturer's manual shall be available and shall be used to specify correct operating temperatures. An approved chemical feeder on the automatic washer shall be maintained. The audible or visible warning device for replenishing the chemical sanitizer shall be in functioning condition. An accurate thermometer machine will be used to indicate all wash water, rinse, and sanitize temperatures. The pressure gauge and a valve to check pressure on the final rinse line shall be functional and maintained. Test kits shall be used to accurately measure sanitizer concentration, the temperature of the sanitizing rinse water in a high temperature. Washing machine shall be at 180 degrees Fahrenheit 82.2 degrees Celsius. There shall be an adequate concentration of detergent and clean water in the wash tank of the machine hand wash facility. The hazard analysis. In order to complete the FSMS plan form, you will need to perform a process called hazard analysis. A hazard analysis determines whether there are food safety hazards that are reasonably likely to occur in your product and to the preventive measures that a processor can apply to control those hazards. The use of a standardized hazard analysis worksheet assists with this process.